Good morning cadets. Today I will be taking up the exercise of bringing up Kari. Question number 1. The enclosure in which Kari lived had a thatched roof that lay on thick tree stumps. Examine the il illustration of Kari's pavilion and say why it was built that way. Answer. Kari's pavilion was built under a thatch roof having its support on a thick tree trunk. The support was necessary to save the roof from falling down when Kari moved about and bumped against the bamboo poles. Question number 2. Did Kari enjoy his morning bath on the river? Give a reason for your answer. Yes. Kari loved to be taken to bath for to the river. He lay down on the sand bank. The narrator rubbed his body with clean sand. Then he washed his body with water. He used to make sounds joyfully. Question number 3. Finding good twigs for Kari took a long time. Why? The narrator had to work hard to gather soft new twigs for Kari. He had to climb all kinds of trees. If the twigs were deformed, Kari refused to eat them. Question number 4. Why did Kari push his friend into the stream? Kari pushed his friend, the narrator, into the stream because a boy was drowning in the water. Kari himself could not save and carry the boy to the shore. Question number 5. Kari was like a baby. What are the main points of comparison? Kari was like a human baby. He had to be taught a few lessons to become good. Like a baby, he too played some mischiefs. He used to steal away the fruits from the dining table. Question number 6. Kari helped himself to all the bananas in the house without anyone noticing it. How did he do it? Kari was a mischievous but intelligent creature. He started taking away the bananas kept on the dining table. He used his black long trunk to steal fruits through the window. Question number 7. Kari learned the commands to sit and to walk. What were the instructions for each command? Kari learned the commands to sit down or stand up and walk fast or slow. The word dhat was the command to sit down. The word mali was the command to walk. Question number 8. What is the master call? Why it is the most important signal for an elephant to learn? The master call was a strange kind of hissing like a snake and howling like a tiger. It sounded like a fight between a snake and a tiger. The sound had to be made in the elephant's ear. It was necessary signal for Kari to uproot trees and make a passage through the dense forest for the house. Question number 9. 
short type answers. How old was Kari, our Kari and the narrator? Kari the elephant was 5 months old when he was given to the narrator. The narrator was 9 years old then. What did Kari eat and how much? Kari ate twigs. He did not eat much. Still, he needed 40 pounds of it daily. He chewed the twigs and played with them. Question number 3. What did the narrator do with the hatchet? The narrator had to bring some twigs for Kari's dinner. He used to cut down the twigs with a very sharp hatchet. Why did the narrator climb the trees? The narrator had to get twigs for Kari. The most tender and delicate twigs were found on the trees. So he used to climb the trees. Question number 5. Why was it necessary to train Kari to be good? Kari was like a naughty boy. He took pleasure in making mischief. Therefore, he had to be trained to be good. Who wrongly blamed for the theft of bananas? The bananas were stolen again and again. First of all, the narrator's family blamed the servants for eating all the fruit. Next time, the narrator himself was blamed for the theft. Both the narrator and the servants were wrongly blamed. Kari used to steal the bananas every time. Question number 7. What did the narrator do when he found Kari stealing the bananas? The narrator found Kari stealing the bananas. He pulled out Kari from the pavilion by the ear. He showed Kari to his parents. He was, he also scolded the elephant. So Kari understood that stealing was not a Good habit. Next we have long answers. Give a character sketch of Kari. So we have to write something about Kari. How well we know. The character of Kari. Kari the elephant lived in a pavilion under a thatched root. Once he saved the life of a drowning boy with the narrator's help. He was fond of eating tender, delicious, delicate twigs. He enjoyed rolling in sand and bathing in the river. He was a sensible elephant because he saved the boy who was drowning. He made a call to the narrator when he saw a boy drowning in the water. He helped the narrator fully in bringing out the drowning child. He was a naughty elephant, there is no doubt about it. 
he took pleasure in making mischief he had to be scolded also for all these mischiefs then he had great love for ripe bananas he used to steal the bananas soon he was found out by for stealing the bananas when the narrator scolded him his ego was hurt so even the elephants understand scolding he understood this is not correct he never stole anything afterwards he was willing to be punished for his wrong he was a slow but a good learner like a child in this uh, we can include how the narrator taught him the commands to sit then about the master call so that we are very familiar with the character you can include all these things how he was enjoying his bath second question give a character sketch of the narrator the narrator was a boy of 9 years when the 5 month old kari was given to him they grew together he was not a good swimmer that drowning incident has shown us that however he saved the life of a drowning boy with the help of the elephant he grew friendly with the elephant he climbed up the trees to get delicious delicate twigs for kari luscious means delicious delicate twigs he took kari to the river and rubbed him with clean sand so he took great care of kari he loved kari very much he cut the twigs with a sharp hatchet he was only 9 years old but he loved kari so much he was always heeding to the elephant's call whenever the elephant was trying to call him he used to go and attend the, the elephant he was a boy of ego he got very angry when his parents blamed him for the theft of the bananas because he had not eaten and the parents told that you have stolen the bananas he was a good observer soon he discovered that kari was a thief he pulled kari by the ear and scolded him in harsh language he learned how to make the elephant sit down walk go fast go slow by saying dat and mali so we can say he was a good mahot spelling is m a h o u t the man who looks after a elephant is called a mahot let's enjoy the slide share on the beautiful creatures on mother earth
This one must be everybody's favorite. Dolphin. Again, the cute penguins from Antarctica. The most intelligent among the animals, chimpanzee. And our curry. National animal of India. Last but not the least, the king of the jungle. So, always love the animals. Treat them well. It creates balance in nature. Animals, they make the surroundings beautiful. Thank you.